Welcome to the Decanter Fine Wine Encounter 2010. I'm Adam Lechmere, editor of decanter.com, and I'm here at the Landmark Hotel in Marylebone, North London, for what is a historic fine wine encounter. For the second time in history, we've got the five Bordeaux first growths here doing a masterclass. Uh, but apart from that, we've also got winemakers, wine producers from every corner of the winemaking world. So let's go and see what we can find. exactly 14 years ago since we launched the Decanter Fine Wine Encounters and the whole idea behind it was to bring together heroes and heroines, the winemakers, with, the, with wine lovers from around the world. We've got the Gold Room here, which are all our gold medal winners from this year's Decanter World Wine Awards. I mean, we're one of the oldest and also one of the most traditional wine, wine in terms of the, the methods we use in, in our production. For me, the eyelids is first the masterclass because it's something uh, unique for having the five first words same place, same time. Uh, last time we did it, it was uh, 15 years ago. Well, it was very interesting to have all those uh, first growths uh, around the table and, and for me it's a very interesting experience to taste all those wines because we are friends, we are close together, but uh, in Bordeaux we don't taste the, the, the wine uh, so, so much time all together, so it was very interesting. Thank you for Jikenta. <laughs> I think I enjoyed uh, tasting all these five growth, five first growths together in different vintages and I think what uh, really uh, was uh, the, the peak for me was to to drink and discover, rediscover some of the vintages that I am not drinking regularly, like such as Margot 96 or Aubryon 98. Uh, we are concentrating on our main objective, which is to make the best wines possible in our property uh, individually. And uh, sometimes we have a chance to taste our wines, but most of the time we do not have this chance and uh, we do not meet so regularly. We meet each other you know, one by one or uh, two by two, but uh, it's, it's not often. It's, it's very unusual for us to have uh, you know, the chance to taste all our wines to, uh, next to the other. Okay, so this is the Lady May. Uh, those are our best vats of the Cabernet and with 95, is, uh, 91, and Petit Verdot. Petit Verdot has been, um, what is a revelation. I'm looking for, for a smell of, 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 of violets on the nose, of perfume, and, and I absolutely get that. It's a lovely, sweet nose. Tannins are definitely there, but they're quite, they're quite, um, they're quite chalky. They're chalky tannins, aren't they? They have nice minerality. And and that is the, the terroir. Mm. Our signature style that we've been making wines for over 38 years is to always show nice balance. So our wines go very, very nice with food. And uh, the best way to have wines go with food is to be in balance. And so this is what we work for. This is our signature style. Always show nice balanced wines, whether it's white wines or red wines. Um, my favourite wine has always been Aubryon, but I just um, tonight today I just love the way the Lafitte sort of combined that sort of deep black fruits with this kind of Aubryon minerality and uh, herbaceous aside. Just loving that. I've got an '86 Latour sitting at home waiting to be drunk on a, on the right occasion. Only that, I'm afraid. Well, what a fantastic weekend that was. I've tasted wine from every corner of the world. I've met some brilliant winemakers, I've met some charming winemakers, I've met some legendary winemakers. And I'm going home now with just a little bit more understanding of what makes a fine wine.